I'm Nikki Fitzgerald and you're watching Adorama TV. Today you're going to discover how easy it is to make time-lapse videos on your iPhone so you can create amazing videos for the most ordinary scenes and events. I'm also going to be showing you how simply by paying attention to your surroundings and just changing your perspective is going to make a huge difference to your photography. Adorama TV presents iPhoneography with Nikki Fitzgerald. Time-lapse photography is a process of taking lots and lots of photographs over a period of time, compressing them all together so we have this sped up video. Now traditionally it's created on a still camera using an accessory called an intervalometer, but we can chuck all that away and just use our little old iPhone. Great examples of time-lapse videos are sunsets, where you've got the clouds rushing towards the horizon, or sunrises, also fun projects like melting ice creams, candles burning can make really good time-lapse videos. If you want to get a bit grander, shoot from above from a scene and you can do a cityscape where there are people rushing around and traffic moving at different speeds and directions. And these make fabulous uh, time-lapse videos. Just have some fun with it and experiment. Like with all good photography, a little bit of prep goes a long way and it's no different with the time lapse. So here's my guide to making sure your time lapse photography video goes really, really smoothly. Interruptions, we don't want any of those, so check that your battery is fully charged. Also make sure your lens is nice and clean and give that a big wipe. And also turn airplane on so you don't get any calls or messages interrupting your video. Finally, you don't want any shaking or moving. So put it on something firm, make sure it's not gonna fall over or put it in a tripod even better and that will make sure your video runs nice and smoothly. Making a time-lapse movie on your iPhone is really easy. Obviously you need your iPhone and also you need to rest it on something really sturdy. Even better, get a tripod. Now I've got the iStabilizer here which is great. It comes with its own mount. You simply clip the iPhone in to the mount. It's spring-loaded, it goes in easy. Careful to avoid the buttons on the side because that will start your photographs going. Uh, set your tripod down, nice and steady, and then make sure it's nice and level. Open your uh, iPhone camera. That will open in photo mode, mode, which is a great opportunity with the rule of thirds grid to get your horizon straight if it's a little bit wonky, but that's perfect. Then we swipe uh, twice down to get the time-lapse mode and you need to make sure there's no distractions, your camera's nice and level. And the next thing we need to do is uh, focus on the sand sculpture there, just simply by holding and clicking and your auto uh, exposure auto focus will come up on the yellow screen, which means that's now in focus. The lighting looks pretty good. If it was a bit dark, you may just swipe up a bit to get it lighter or swipe down a bit, but that's about perfect. So. We've set our scene, there's no distractions, it's nice and sharp, the exposure is right. All we need to do now is set the time-lapse going by press the little red button here. So we've got Mark, our sand sculpture, from Weymouth here in Sandworld to get ready to do some action on our sand. And we just click the red button and you'll see the little indicator start going here. And that means filming is in progress. So we're ready to rock and roll. Luckily, I have another phone I can use to go and do some photography. Hi, Nikki Fitzgerald here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. So while we're waiting for our time-lapse video, let's not waste any good photography time and see what we've got around us. Now this is a fantastic sculpture park, but apart from these wonderful sculptures which we can take pictures of, there's lots of opportunities if you just change your perspective and your angle, get close up, look above you, look below you, there's lots of markings on the floor. We can really tell the story of our visit today just by changing our perspective and getting some really interesting shots. So here we have this fabulous sculpture behind us and our first instinct is to grab our camera and just take the picture from our eye level. But actually if you try a different viewpoint, you're gonna get a much more interesting photograph. So let's have a look at this and look at, look at the two photographs we've taken together and compare and contrast. Another thing you can do to improve your photography is actually getting really close. There's lots of textures all around, like these fantastic feathers here. So let's just get in really close, crop in tight, and we've got a lovely abstract here, lovely marks, fantastic. So finally, to stop the video, we need to press the red button. Now at this stage, you might be thinking, all this video taking up lots of storage space on your camera, but don't worry, because Apple have done a really clever thing 
And what they do is the longer you video for, the more frames they remove in between frames. Now, what this means is your video, if you shoot for an hour to two hours, is never going to be any longer than 20 to 40 seconds long. Now, that's a great shareable length, and that's not going to fill up your photo album. So let's have a look and see what Mark's done for us and see this fantastic time lapse video. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope I've shown you just how easy it is to make a time lapse video on your iPhone. Use it on your own projects. Maybe you're doing a painting and you want to show the progress from start to finish, or you're building construction in your back garden and maybe a shed, and you can show the whole progress with a time lapse in a short space of time. Share your project, share your ideas, leave some comments, and I'll see you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.